Oh. Well, hey, y'all. Well, I'm in Oklahoma City, spending time with some family. Uh, it's kind of like I said, I'm about the lone survivor in my family. For those of you who do have family, consider yourself very blessed. Um, I just wanted to kind of share what I'm thankful for, um, it being right here at Thanksgiving. Um, I tried to do this yesterday. I didn't do a very good job of it, but I'm going to try again today. Um, first this year, I tell you, I tell you what I am thankful for. I'm thankful for, um, and this is my shirt. I'm, I know I'm scatterbrained real bad, but this is my, my shirt that I got from the concert. But, um, uh, anyway, what I am thankful for, I am thankful for, um, uh, I'm thankful to be alive. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna post some pictures of my surgery, and hopefully I can get a couple of videos from a couple of people that were there. Uh, I'm just like, thankful to be alive. Um, I'm thankful for the family I have here in Oklahoma City. I'm thankful for my job. I'm thankful for. I'm thankful to be able to do my job. I'm thankful to. Um, I'm just thankful to be able to walk. Um, my surgery, I had a tumor, about six inch tumor that was in, it was inside of my spinal cord. Um, pretty rare deal. They had to, not only did they had to, they had to go in through my back, they had to go through my spinal column the skeletal part of it. They had to remove some bone. They had to remove some, shave some bone down. The alligator part that's on the out, outer part of the, of the spinal column, they had to shave some of that down. And then they had to go into, they had to cut my spinal cord open. Um, I mean, people have, people get paralyzed just from a simple wrong movement, you know. I was already in the beginning stages of being paralyzed. I had been having back pain for like the last three or four years, and it was just, it got, to, after my sister passed away in uh, February of this year, um, I was having just incredible pain. On a scale of one to 10, it was probably like a 25. It was, I mean, I was, I, I, I was losing my mind. It was hurting so bad. And uh, I just, I just cried out to God and said, "Look, Lord, I need your help." And He He helped me. He got me through that. Um, I wouldn't be standing here right now without the grace of God. Um, I wouldn't be alive right now without His hand. So all all the credit goes to Him. I'm just the vessel that He used. Um, and I'm thankful. I'm thankful for for the touch that he gave me. Uh, I'm able to. I'm able to walk. I'm able to move around. I can actually move better than I did before. Um, I hadn't. I hadn't been able to move this well in several years. And I thank you to. Uh, I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for one of the YouTube channels I watch. I, I really appreciate her a lot. Um, she's really inspired me to live healthier, get back into shape, 
and um, just do better, you know. So I really appreciate her too. So uh, anyway, but, but yeah, I, I just want to say I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for you know for being able to have a have the things that I do have and um, I'm just I'm thankful I'm thankful that my sister I was able to, to reconcile with her um, me and her had had a fallen out after my nephew passed away in 2020 and I'm thankful that me and her were able to reconcile before she passed away and I'm I'm thankful that she was able to reconcile to God. Um, I was the one that had to take her off life support, and I was holding her hand. When I found out I was in Portland, Oregon, and I I got to her with the quickness. I made a beeline for her. I didn't care snowstorms. I drove through a snowstorm, people parked all the truck stops, um, everything, and I, I drove through the night. I drove a long way. I didn't care I didn't care if DOT had to follow me or do whatever they would I, I was getting to my sister. Nothing was gonna stop me. Y'all can keep the truck here, I'm I'm getting to her. Period of any end of discussion. Um I'm thankful that I, that I was able to reconcile with her and she was able to reconcile with God and she's doing better now because of it. She's in heaven and living better than any of us. I'm thankful for that too. Um, so I'm just thankful for this year. It's been a life-changing year. I, this time last year I was out here spending time with, with my family and um, hold on a second. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> but uh I'm just thankful that I was able to reconcile with her. Um, don't don't leave yourself with regrets. Um, I would have regretted for the rest of my life if I if I hadn't made things right with her. Um, it's just stubbornness. It's just stubbornness, and it's really self-centered. Um, I just thankful for, for the opportunity I had to that God used that opportunity as bad as it was but it took that to get me and her to because both of us were just bullheaded stubborn you know God knew what he was doing so um, as hard as that was he carried me through that he carried through her he carried her through it welcomed her into heaven I was able to hold her hand right up and talk to her right up in her to her final breath. I'm thankful for that. Um, but I'll show this surgery. I'll show pictures of the surgery and just kind of maybe do a little slide slide thing on it. But I mean, it was it was a it was a nine hour. It was a, I was I was under I was under anesthesia for over nine hours and. Um, it was, a, it was a major surgery. I mean, it was not. It this wasn't no broken leg type of thing. This was this was a serious thing. It was. I was between a rock and a hard place. It was either either I don't do anything about it and be paralyzed, or it could it could kill me, or I have the surgery <laughs> and be paralyzed and it could kill me. <laughs> My blood pressure after the surgery was like 205 or 120 so you ready yeah. all right i'll be in just a second but uh i'm about to go get a pedicure on my feet that's right i'm a man i'm a truck driver i'm gonna get a pedicure for my feet come on that's right i'm a man i'm a, I'm a man i'm a man enough to say that i'm gonna go get a pedicure how about that you know what i'm saying so 
anyway, I just wanted to say that's what I'm thankful for. I'm thankful to have the job that I have, um, the benefits. I, I, I could have had, I could have had a job where I, but I would have lost my benefits, and um, it was that I was able to take care of this surgery. There was only three places that could even do this surgery, and I and I just happened to live close enough. I lived an hour, I lived two hours south of where this one of the places were. The other places were far and away, you know. So I'm thankful for my the family that took care of me after surgery. I was, I was out for five months. And um, I'm a living, breathing miracle of, from God himself. He's the only reason that I even, that I even survived this. Uh, when the surgery was over, I was able to move my feet, feel, feel everything. Uh, I had to lay flat for three days. I was in I, I was in neuro ICU for four days, and um, I was out of commission for a while. But when I got home, when I when I got to my friend my friends that took care of me afterwards, I was for like the first six weeks I could I mean just walking, just walking from one end of the house to the other just exhausted me. I couldn't even hardly move. And um, I have a whole new appreciation for life and for my abilities. I found a personal trainer. Thank you, Sheila, for trucker guy. I really appreciate you. You don't know how much I appreciate you. Um, I'm telling you, uh, watching your videos, if you see this, I really appreciate you big time. Um, Watching your videos motivated me while I was in ICU. After, while I was at home recovering and everything. And I was able to get a personal trainer. It got me back in the gym. I played sports most of my life. Football, baseball, those types of things. I lifted weights. So I knew what to do. It was the motivation to do it. And you, your videos inspired me to get off my, my lazy butt, my lazy behind and get back in the gym and, and start doing better. So you can thank you, pat yourself, pat yourself on the back big time. I applaud you and I look up to you a lot, if nothing else, just for that. So I really appreciate it. Um, in essence, you helped save my life. So I'm thankful for you too. Um, I, um, but I got a personal trainer, and it was the—it was not only the physical parts. I was scared to death because they told me—they told me for a long time, don't bend, twist, or bend, lift, or twist. And I couldn't bend, lift, or twist for like six weeks. I couldn't bend. I had—I couldn't bend over. I had people helping me do things, and, and I was almost like handicapped. And I had to overcome, I had to overcome all that to get back to work and get back to where I could walk again. And get, I had to get a personal trainer. As crazy as this sounds, I was scared to bend over to even tie my shoes. I was afraid that my, I was afraid that my spinal cord was gonna bust open. And I, and I was gonna die right there. I, it was, it, that's, that's what was going through my head. I knew I, I knew I could bend over, but it was just getting past the, the 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 mental part of it. And you know, with her helping me physically and watching your videos, those two things got me through. And and now I'm, you know, it motivates me to after a long day of driving to mo it motivates me to get to do something and and not sit on my on my on my lazy behind. And um, so I really appreciate you. I really appreciate everybody that's been there for me this year. I thank everybody. I'm thankful for, to, I'm just thankful again for waking up each day is a, is a new miracle. And, huh?
Okay, all right, I'm coming. All right, well, I'll talk to y'all later. A lot more. Okay, push up against my hand. Good. All right, push down. Good. Push up. Good. And down. Good. Oh my gosh, I think you're full strength. I mean, I know.
Hey y'all. I just got back to get my hair cut. Actually got my hair cut and then got my feet done too. Feels a whole lot better. I feel like I'm walking on air, come on. Anyway, that's what I'm thankful for. Um it's a little bit darker. It's almost dark here now. Um But yeah, I'm just really thankful for all y'all. The people in my life. Uh I'm thankful. Thankful, like I said, for being able to walk. I'm thankful to be alive. I'm thankful for the family I have here in Oklahoma, for my job, um, ability to be able to do what I do at a high level. Um, I have all my sensations in my legs and everywhere. Uh, I came out of every out of out of that surgery and good health. I'm actually doing better. I can walk better than I did before. Probably the best I've walked in four or five years. And um, I'm just thankful for, like I said, for Sheila on that YouTube channel. Um, trucker gal. And um, I just, I think the girl at my, at my, that did my um, personal training when I came back to work. I just really thank everybody. I'm thankful for all y'all that um that I'm able to that I'm able to do this. I'm, that I'm at, that I'm here. I, Cause I could my blood pressure was so high and recovered that day that I really should have died just from that alone. But but here I am. So uh, anyway, don't ever leave yourself with regrets. Um, if you got somebody in your life that you need to patch things up with, suck your pride up and make things right with them, or at least make the attempt to. I mean, sometimes, sometimes the things have been damaged to a point that you can't refix them. And I'm, I'm in a, I have situations like that. People, and people that were in my life that are blood, they're blood related. I don't have anything to do with them more because of it. I forgive them for what they did, but that don't mean I need, I don't have to have them in my life either. You know, I forgive them and I wish the best for them. But as far as bringing them back in my life, that ain't going to happen. Um, you know, I wish them the best. I forgive them, but I don't need them. Um, just bring them. I need, I'm trying to move on with, I'm just moving forward with people, positive people in my life and uh, move forward with that and um uh, like i said i'm thankful for, i'm just thankful to breathe god's air and uh i'll post i'll put the pictures on this uh on this video i got some i got some videos i might try to i don't have them i got them on facebook but i don't i don't know how to change them over from facebook to a video to to put them on here so I'll uh, maybe do that some other time, but I got I do have the pictures from it. But I'm just thankful this Thanksgiving for life, and uh, I'm thankful. I'm just thankful for everything I have. It ain't much, but I'm thankful for it. I'm thankful for everything. So, um, like I said, don't leave any regrets. If there's something out there you're trying to want to attain or a goal you're trying to reach, go for it. You know, nothing's stopping you from that but you. Um, you know, just don't leave yourself with regrets. You know, I'm, I'm thankful that I was able to patch things up with with my sister and my family members before they passed away. And, um, so anyway, I wish y'all a happy Thanksgiving. Um, I hope y'all, uh, whoever sees this, I hope y'all, everything is safe with you. And I hope that you're having, if you have plenty of family around, consider yourself blessed. Um, just consider yourself blessed. 
and um, be thankful and just wish y'all to be safe and have a happy Thanksgiving and and we'll see you on the other side. So y'all take care. We'll see you. Take it easy. Hey, I had forgot to mention that uh, after after my back surgery and I recovered, um, I had I had to have a wrist surgery too. Uh, about f about five weeks before I went, about five weeks before I went back to work, um, I had I had a bone spur on my left wrist, and um, had a they call it a ganglion cyst, and it was on top of my tendon. Um, and I had had some gout in the, probably about ten years ago. But all that combined, my tendon was on the verge of snapping. <laughs> so that was on top of my my back there. I was having a wrist surgery, but that was like a mosquito bite type of deal compared to what I was my back. But um, I wanted to clarify that I, I had to have about five weeks before I went back before, before I went back to work. I had to I had this uh, wrist surgery done, and um, it was pretty routine. Um, they had to go in there and cut this um, bone spur, get rid of the cyst, and then they had to dig this gout out of my out of my hand that, I, that had been embedded in there and. I mean, I just had bad eating choices and stuff, um, but from in the past. But anyway, um, I just want to clarify that. That's why some of these pictures are going to show that. So anyway, but it was on my left wrist, and I have to clarify also. I have fully recovered um, from my back. Um, my blood pressure is under control. I had to do a full physical. DOT physical before I went back to work. I passed. Um, I'm, I was, you know, I got through the surgery, both surgeries I had to get. I, I, I was doing, you know, working with a personal trainer and I got through the after part of my back surgery, had the surgery. I was out for about two weeks. I couldn't really do anything for, for a couple of weeks and I got back with her. And she was a body, she's a bodybuilder, by the way. It ain't like I was, I mean, this girl, yeah, she, she, she could do it. <laughs> um, so, and ironically, everybody, all my doctors, with the exception of the, of the orthopedic that found it, his MRI, his MRI image is what found this tumor. With the exception of him, all of my doctors are female. That's not that's not by that's not by choice. It's just this kind of the way it happened, you know. Um, the surgeon that did my the surgeon that did my back, like I said before, she's Chinese. She's probably about five foot tall. She's a little short lady, but she has the presence of Mount Everest. Um, she, I, I felt very confident when I talked to her the first time. I had talked to a, I had talked to another doctor before, and, and talking to him, I just didn't I didn't have the same confidence. Um, I felt like he could do it, being that he was in, dealt with at at Emory Hospital. But he 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 told he called me back later that night to his credit, and he told me that he didn't feel like he could do this, and he had another surgeon, and I started having questions when he you know, but I just trusted the process. And when after I, after I talked to her, she you could tell she was on top of her game a whole lot more. And so, all my doctors are female. Everybody, even the the girl that, that helped me get past my um my physical or really my mental limitations after surgery. And my doctor, my doctor did my my wrist surgery. He's he's that was a that was a man. Uh, he 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 actually went to Harvard. So I mean. I, all my doctors are top notch. 
But um, anyway, I want to clarify that. So anyway, I just want to thank everybody again. Thank all the people that I thanked, and you know, y'all, y'all are the real rock stars. So we'll see y'all. Y'all have a good Thanksgiving. See ya.